pregnancy. When I first received the news, I couldn't believe it. You know, it couldn't possibly be happening. It has to be a dream. That's what I thought it was. The treatment process at the beginning when I went, I was nervous and I was scared. But once I got in there and the people that handle it made me feel comfortable and my family made me feel comfortable by being there and helping me out. You know, giving me courage. I kind of knew what to expect and so I was able to understand where to help her along mm -hmm. to get through some of the issues that she didn't understand going through treatment. There's no there's no saying okay or this or that or the other thing. We're going to go attack the problem and she's going to beat it out. At first they told me I didn't think I was going to have that many treatments. Well, when they said I was going to have 18 and breaking it up, I was a little nervous about that. But as I went through it, it got better. I'm going to cry. And everybody made me feel well, you know, comfortable. I might have felt not that well when I came home. I was like, uncomfortable, tired, a little sick, you know, for a couple of days. And then after that, it would go away. But I still had that on my mind. I would always think about it. You now that I had this, I couldn't believe it. And it was always there. I could never get rid of it. And I had a hard time sleeping. And uh, after a while, it did calm down, and some days I had good days, and some days I had bad days. But my husband and my family helped me through those days. I kind of knew what to expect, and so I was able to understand where to help her along to get through some of the issues that she didn't understand going through treatment. I got determined, I had being angry, just wanting to get to it and tackle her problem. The obstacles I had was mostly in thought. Mm -hmm. I would always think of different things. And I would say, my daughter was strong enough to do this, to go through what she went through. I have to be strong enough to do it too. You know, but then I would think, I'm older, she was younger. You know, and Maybe it didn't bother her as much, I don't know, but I'm older and it did bother me in a lot of ways. My cancer was different. I had cervical cancer where mom had ovarian cancer. She had 18 chemo treatments. I had five chemo treatments and radiation. So I had 30 radiation treatments and five chemo treatments besides having surgery. But my surgery was done prior to my treatments. Lost hair, but I didn't lose all of my hair in my treatments where mom did in there. So there was a little bit different ways they went about it and being, I think it's been eight years in between our chemo. So they now they handle it a little differently from when I was treated to when mom was treated. It really scared me when the doctor said to me that I will lose my hair and I just couldn't imagine ha having no hair on my head, you know. And when it did start to grow in, it grew in white, you know. And I can't even understand that. So, it was a little hard. It was hard, a lot. Scared, nervous, worried, and just the overall outcome of what was going to happen. You cautious now to go tell everybody to start checking, you know, for there's so many different types of chemo and there's so many different ways people can get hurt. And uh, we've been through it a few times, unfortunately, with our family. So uh, we're, all, we're, we're always trying to teach our kids to be, you know, more cautious and more aware of cancer. Mm -hmm. Women in my community, I would say to them to go to the doctors, get checked up, and make sure they go and get checked. 
and not wait on it for something to show or happen, which happened with me, which I thought I, it wasn't cancer. I thought I had gas, you know, but my stomach was starting to swell up. And that's when I said, I have to go to the doctors. So don't wait till then. Go to the doctors and get checked. Well, you know, obstacles are uh, you know, not really one of the things that are concerned you so much. You tackle those. Whatever the obstacles are in the way, you figure a way to get around them. You try to accomplish everything you need to accomplish to get her well. That's the main thing. Whatever, whatever it takes, whatever it calls for, her and I and our family are going to do it. This is my little friend. She helps me through a lot. She's always licking me and kissing me and running me and all over. At first, I really didn't want her, but I'm getting close to her, and What's she's helping me. Just her name is Noel. That is because I've gotten her on Christmas. Right, Noel, my girl. I'm cancer free. I'm very happy, but the memories are still there.